Oh, hi. I'm Tony Franco. Welcome to my studio. I've been a cartoonist for over 50 years, during which time I did story and art for Marvel Comics Starline, DC Comics Bugs Bunny Magazine, and character designs for DIC Animation Studios. But through the years, my most enjoyment was creating my own characters and concepts, which I'm now promoting on my website, Tony Franco and Friends. Today, I'd like to tell you about It's a Dog's Life. Now, It's a Dog's Life is a funny animal strip, which I guess you could call my flagship title. I should preface my presentation by telling you that, that I grew up with the classic cartoons and comics, Disney, Warner Brothers, MGM, Hanna-Barbera. They had characters and stories that could touch you. They made that could make you laugh, cry, think, and dream. It's what made me want to become a cartoonist. It's what I try to bring to my work and what I try to share with an audience. Creating characters that they can get to know and care about and stories that will move them. Now, I call this kind of stories heroic fiction. These kind of stories could be told with a superhero or with a feisty little bulldog. Now, speaking of feisty little bulldogs, allow me to introduce Pugnacious Pug, better known as Pug. Pug's a little bulldog with big ideals. Well, Pug lives in a shack in the city junkyard with his feline friend Dudley. He's a simple soul with a mind to match. Now, Pug and Dudley are more than content to live in the junkyard doing odd jobs for the owners because it leaves them free in case something more important should come up, such as going on an adventure to help some poor soul who may be in trouble. Now, this will invariably lead them on another crusading cause or a crazy quest, which could take them anywhere from the back alleys of a big city to a faraway foreign land. Now, add this to the fact that the world of its adult life is populated with innumerable characters of every size, shape, temperament from all over the world, and you have the premise that can lead to many stories and a lot of potential. I've already self-published issue number one of It's a Dog's Life comic book. Now, this is available on my website and on Amazon Kindle. Issue number two is on the drawing board already, literally. Now, animation for another. Now, my website has a video of a storyboard that I prepared for a proposed Dog's Life cartoon, complete with the model sheets of the two main characters. I'd say hearkening back to those classic characters and and comics, um, I strongly believe that it's a dog's life can bring back that feeling of fun and excitement that you remember to a brand new audience, no matter what the age. I hope you agree. I thank you for your time and attention. And what better way to sign off than with a song? It's a dog's life. It's a dog's life. You have the best intentions and you end up with fright.